today I'm going to tell you about my favorite instrument, the harp. <clears throat> As you can see, the harp is a very large and very beautiful instrument. Harps weren't always this big though. The harp is one of the oldest instruments known to man. They say that the harp evolved from the hunter's bow. And there are pictures of people playing harps on caves and things from ancient Egypt. The harp is very old, but the harp that was played long ago wasn't big like this. It was smaller. Maybe more like this, just a little harp that someone would hold while they played it. Today though, the harp that I play mostly is called a concert grand harp. It has several parts. This is the column. This is the soundboard. This is very important. It helps make a beautiful sound. This is the body of the harp. And this part is called the neck. The neck is very important because the strings put a lot of tension on the harp. So the neck has to be strong. The neck is made of oak. The soundboard of the harp is made of spruce, like a pine tree. And the body is made of maple. So the harp is made completely out of wood, and that's what gives it its beautiful ringing sound. Do you hear it still ringing? The harp just rings and rings and rings. That's what I love about the harp. The harp, concert harp, has 47 strings. That's a fun fact for you to remember, 47 strings. All the way from the lowest bottom string, up to the top string, and you can hear these low strings really low, and you can hear the high strings. And you see how the high strings are really short and the low strings are really long. The strings on the harp are made of several different materials. The big low strings are made of wire, the middle strings are made of gut, and many times the top strings are made of nylon. So the top strings are more like fishing line, if you have anybody in your family who goes fishing, they're just a nylon string. But in the middle, to get a beautiful sound, we use gut strings. These strings are actually made of cow gut, but they're coated with a clear, a clear coating. So the gut strings have a really beautiful sound. Now you can probably see that the strings are different colors. I wonder if you can see that. Let me bring my harp a little bit closer. This is what I call walking the harp, just to get it a little closer for you. So the strings are different colors. So you see some are red, some are black. So all of the red strings are the C strings. This one is middle C. The black strings are Fs. Everything else is like the white notes on the piano. So that's how that works. However, you know, the piano has black keys so you can get sharps and flats. Well, to get sharps and flats on the harp, there are seven pedals. These pedals are way down at the bottom of the harp. I'm not sure that you can see them. You probably can't. Let me tip the harp forward and see. Maybe you can see there are, see those seven pedals in the back of the harp. By the way, harp players have to work, lift weights to, to be able to move their harp. Anyway, so I can move pedals, and if you look here, look at the red string, you can see these discs moving. So when I move my C pedal, the pedal's connected to a rod that goes up through the column of the harp, and then it moves these discs. So listen to this one string, it can have three sounds. Can you see the discs move? Yeah, pretty cool, right? So that's how that works. Now on the harp, you can make lots of fun special effect sounds, and I really enjoy these. One of these sounds is called a harmonic. It's like a little bell-like sound. Really pretty 
sound. That's called a harmonic. I love doing those. Another sound on the harp is called a glissando, which is when you just run your finger over the strings. Now we can use the pedals to make all different kinds of glissandos. We can make sort of kind of a quiet, mysterious sounding glissando, or I can change the pedals and make a very brilliant, beautiful glissando. We can also do these things, we call them glisses for short. We can do them quick and short. That's really fun. Or we can do, one of my favorites, are just big, full glisses like the waves of the ocean. So that's a little bit about the harp today, and I hope someday you get to play a harp just like I do. Bye!